What's going on? We back with some news. Um, Adrian Broner was arrested two days before Christmas. Y'all know who already dropped the news. TMZ, man. I'll link the article to the description. We back. Goodfella Sports TV. We back in the building one time for the one time we grind. Appreciate our brothers and sisters supporting the channel, man. Uh, you know, happy holidays to you and yours from the Goodfella Sports TV, man. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, bell icon button. And apparently, uh, Adrian Broner was out, had a rest off for his warrant. Uh, in Broward County, he got picked up because of that yesterday, and um, I'm going to get some insight uh, on some things that could help people that I learned in my life regarding this type of stuff. Adrian Broner, the article says Adrian Broner found himself mugging for the wrong camera this holiday after getting arrested just days before Christmas. The boxer star was busted Sunday in Broward County, in Florida, Florida after a warrant for his arrest was issued for failure to appear in court earlier this month. He was booked in the county jail and then released court records show the bench warrant stems from a case dating back to December 2017 after he was arrested for having no driver's license, speeding, no registration or proof of insurance. Since that arrest, he's failed to appear in court several times, which led to a previous arrest in July for failure to appear. It hasn't been a great, well, we know great month. We already reported the other day that he owes over uh, $1.1 million to uh, prestige pristine juror in New York after failing to pay um, his debt for his jewelry that he got from there. All right. Um, it, it's just no excuse, man. And it's not a rich, a white, a black, or orange, or green thing for the most part. Um, and I'll get my insight on Adrian Broner in a second. But, you know, to the people out there, what I learned in my life, man, and when I got my license, man, 17, 16, whatever I was, 18, whatever I was, one thing my mama told me, it wasn't how to drive for the most part. It wasn't the most important thing, how to back up. How to parallel part. The most important thing was when you get tickets handled, go to the court. Sometimes you go to court and the police didn't show up, they throw it out. Um, sometimes, you know, you know, they might cut the, you know, cut the uh, money down, or you just might beat the case. Just show up to court. Nine times out of ten, the cop might not show up, and you handle those responsibilities, man. He obviously had money to pay for all that, man. Okay, he had obviously had money to, to, you know, break, to, he had time to take his license back down there. So he had a license or, you know, restore restore his license and pay all that up. It's just not being responsible, bro. And that's something that you get instilled in you when you're a young age. I mean, if you really have parents around that can teach you the ropes about, you know, going through the ticket thing and just being responsible in general, you handle those responsibilities. Or if not, you have somebody else responsible have them. He got all the money in the world, but don't didn't handle that responsibility. And that happens all too often with young people. And then now you got adults with younger people and younger minds who don't have a license, at the end of the day, you got a Gucci belt on, you got a Louis hat on, you got Gucci shoes on, you got a million dollars worth of jewelry on, but you don't, you don't have time to go pay your tickets, you don't have time to go restore your driver's license, you don't have time, and I know I'm just harping on Adrian Brown, I ain't got to that part yet, I'm talking about in general, a lot of people, you get all this income tax money, six, seven thousand back, and you just choose to spend your money on kid toy, you know, Jordan for your kids who don't even care about Jordan, they care about Paw Patrol, you spend, you know, care to spend money on jewelry, spend money on Gucci and all this other materialistic things. Instead of putting money on your rent or buying a house so you ain't got to buy rent, you buy cars every year. Do the same thing with that same money. Fuck up your money. Instead of getting your license back together, you know, paying off your tickets, getting that together, will you be able to move and not have to drive, you know, dirty? And Adrian Brown just shows you that, you know, ignorance knows no financial, no financial, uh, you know, barriers for the most part. It's a lot of people that got money who don't handle their responsibility. He deserved to be in the jail. They should have let his ass sit in there through the holiday. You know, and every time he got a fight coming up, may it be orchestrated, like they put together the Takashi 6 9 beef, you know, which was fake. Um, or or may it be getting shot at in Cincinnati at the bar. Or may it be shit like this. Every time he bought the fight, it's some type of distraction, you know, where he where people could use the excuse that if he was focused, he'd let his hands go and this and that. That just told that just tells you what type of training camp he having, man. You know, anybody that got belief in this dude for this training camp, this dude still this dude ain't serious still, man. Okay? This dude is still he ain't maturing, but maturity ain't gonna come for him until he in jail for a long time or until he go broke. Okay? I'm not wishing brokenness upon him, but it ain't gonna come until a real humbling time coming. He gonna be real humble. He done got beat in the ring, he done got chastised by fans for losing, he done got humbled. And all this type of things, been to jail, been shot, and nothing humbled him. When they hit his pockets, when his pockets hurt, hurt the most, and he be broke, and when he be a boxer, and Al Hammond can't do nothing else for him, he can't fight no more, he can't chew and walk bubblegum no more, he got to go work at Publix or work at Kroger or Winn-Dixie and bag groceries, 
or he at Home Depot working, that's when a humbling experience is going to come for Adrian Broner. It's just no excuse for him to be 30, almost 30 years old and not paying his parking tickets, not paying his speeding tickets, not having no driver's license on, not having no registration in the vehicle. That's just that's just immaturity and that's just ignorance. And he deserved to be locked up for long for, for about a week. And this is going to be another built-in excuse for Adrian Broner to say, oh, this is why I lost the mini Pacquiao because I wasn't focused. I was worried about this and that and being sued and this and that. At the end of the day, man, it's going to be another excuse, bro. And for uh, Manny Pacquiao, I mean, for Adrian Broner versus Manny Pacquiao. And at the end of the day, man, it is what it is, man. It is what it is, man. I, I, I've been not rooting for this dude and just get, you know, people get him a pass and say, oh, Broner was focused. And then he ain't going to never be focused. He never matured. You know, Javante Tank Davis went through the same thing. He was 22 years old. Okay. At 18, 17 years old, I knew to go pay my tickets. I knew to go in it or I wouldn't have a license. And these dudes clearly got the money to make sure they license okay. But it's understandable from a, a, a kid growing up in Baltimore who, who came up on a lot of money, don't know how to balance his life. That's understandable. Adrian Broner is 30 years old and still hasn't matured. He ain't got beat upside his head. He got everything happened to him in the boxing ring and outside the boxing ring instead of getting knocked out. Immature. And, and it's the same guy people still put faith in, bro. But it is what it is, man. Obviously, it took him to go to jail to pay all that up or make arrangements to pay that up. Same thing with the jewelry thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, like I say, man, immaturity knows no financial barriers, man. But um, Goodfellow Sports TV, find us on Facebook, Twitter, also got a Facebook group. Reach out to me in the email. All that information is in the description. If I have a re uh, rebuttal to your email, we'll do real soon. Been a little bit busy, under the weather, too fake, but we still working. Want to make a donation to the channel, that link's there as well. Make sure to subscribe button, hit the bell icon button. Y'all know what the business is, one time for the one time. Goodfellow Sports TV, your boy CJ Goodfellow. We gone.